Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Keith, and I have to tell you that Vancouver, British Columbia is one of my favorite cities. In my opinion, it's one of the least conservative places that you can go to. So non-judgmental, and I absolutely love it. With no disrespect to my hometown of Ottawa, there's just something so special about Vancouver. And Vancouver is the perfect backdrop for the new film by Lewis Bennett called The Sandwich Nazi. Now, The Sandwich Nazi is an interesting tale. It's a documentary about Salam Cahill. Now, Mr. Cahill is an interesting person. When I first read about this movie on IMDb, with all due respect to the good people at IMDb, the description of the movie fell short, and it was very misleading. My description of the movie is as follows. It tells the tale of a Lebanese gentleman who migrated to Canada, who has had a very interesting background. He was a musician, an artist, and he used to work in the sex trade. Yep, he was a male escort. And now he operates a deli in Vancouver. Now the interesting thing is, is that from, from somebody who's gone to Vancouver, I can tell you I've been to his type of business. And his type of business is where he develops a rapport with the clientele, and whether he knows you or not, you are going to get abused when you go in. And when I say abused, lightly teased. Again, not something that you would find in the confines of the conservativeness of Ottawa, but in other cities, like Vancouver, it's become something of a staple. And wouldn't you know, in his spare time, he likes making sandwiches and going and donating food to the homeless. So what struck me about this film is just how natural and how bare and honest it is. He makes no qualms and no apologies for the lifestyle that he's lived. He's very candid and very honest with how things are in his life now. And Lewis Bennett has brought us into this individual's life and just left it all out there, which I really enjoyed. Um, I've never been the type of person who likes like the conservative types of documentaries, and this is definitely far from it. But it's interesting because the information that we're, we're, we're being given and the insight that we're given into this to this gentleman isn't for shock value, it's the life that he's lived. So I found this film very entertaining. I think Lewis Bennett has done a fantastic job with this documentary. You're left leaving, you're, you're, you're in this film and you're watching it feeling, I wonder what's going to happen to him next and I wonder what other types of things he can get into. I. I was thinking to myself in the planning I would have a hard time of him of him saying to the to the director no I don't want to talk about that no I don't want to talk about this because everything seemed to be an open book I know this film right now is um, going through distribution and going through uh, selected release I definitely recommend it it was very original it was very honest and it was very entertaining and I don't say that at the expense of Mr. Cahill but at the celebration of his life and what he's done. Very interesting gentleman. I believe that we all have stories and we all have interesting things about us and things that make us unique. And let there be no doubt, he led us into all of the things that make him unique. And I, I commend him for that. I also commend his story. It's a very interesting one and one that we're not used to seeing. If you get a chance to see this movie, I strongly recommend it. I give it a B plus. Great Canadian film, great Canadian documentary, was nominated for the Grand Jury Prize at the South by Southwest Festival, so you know it's no joke there. So definitely check it out when you have an opportunity to. The name of the movie again was The Sandwich is the Sandwich Nazi, and it gets a B plus from me. If you see this film, let me know what you think. CFL underscore fan on Twitter, Facebook.com slash Weedy Whittier and WeedyWittier.com. Thank you so much for checking this out. My name is Keith, and I'll see you at the movies.